Welcome to SIGGRAPH ASIA. The theme of this year's SIGGRAPH is Dream Zone. So what we wanted to do with Dream Zone is to bring everybody in their dreams. So the four days of SIGGRAPH Asia is about experiencing impossible, being part of VR worlds, being part of low-level computer graphics things, just dreaming about whatever you wanted to do in your life with computer graphics you can experience in Brisbane and Australia. As part of my Lifetime Achievement Award, I was asked to think about a big question. What's the purpose in life in the context of computer graphics? And when I look back on my own history, I realize that I have used computer graphics tools and interactive techniques to help bring more understanding into the world. The emerging technologies area is one that uh, really has to be experienced. We've had nearly 30 exhibits this year. We're trying to create a unique opportunity for the attendees to experience those research lab prototypes that they wouldn't get to anywhere else. If these technologies are going to have a, a deep meaning for us, they also have to play a, a role in our cultural experience. And my career is very much dedicated to demonstrating that these technologies have a part to play in art making and actually can enrich one's art practice. The theme of this year's art gallery is the deep dreaming and it's uh, art, AI and algorithmic beauty. I'm fairly sure that this year art gallery has very vivid and bold meaning for SIGGRAPH Asia. When there is a new technology coming, like AR or VR recently, there is a window of time in which there are no tools or technologies that help you make content. My talk is about using mathematics to create images, which is not something you see very often in production of films or games. The fundamentals of Demo Scene is it's about pushing the limits of real-time computer graphics, visually, artistically, musically, but every last demo you will see technical excellence uh, combined with this great artistic aesthetic that just blows your mind because it is all real-time. We received this year uh, 424 submissions, which is a really high number for more than 40 different countries. Our Computer Animation Festival Legacy and Sprint will be continued by those guys for next year. I think the thing that really excites me about Real Time Live is it's this thing that you have to be in the room for. To be in the room when these people are presenting these innovative new techniques is really exhilarating. It's sharing that experience with the presenters. It's just a really great experience. So the industry in Australia for AR VR is quite small and mostly a lot of small startups and entry-level companies. But there's a lot of academic research in the AR and VR space. So we have a very strong amount of researchers in the space that are now starting to commercialise some of the technology. We've had a great reaction to our stand. Everybody's loved our driving uh, experience and our uh, VR 360 experience. We are here to showcase our demos as well as content made with Unity. We got really great feedback from the attendees. They enjoyed a lot. Get Seagraph working with different developers on different concepts, um, optimizing on, on the render tasks, um, showing their solution um, for the end customers. This isn't a normal conference in the sense of everyone's reserve. Everyone is interacting through the demos and through the technologies. I think this sort of enables people to come closer. We're here to share experiences. The weather has been fantastic for the entire week. And enjoy our beaches, enjoy the sunshine. Hello, my name is Jenny Chu. I'm the conference chair for SIGGRAPH Asia 2020. Come join us, be a part of the SIGGRAPH Asia 2020 Daegu in November next year.